get off the freaking net! And welcome to the Blazon Nation, where the World Wide Web and Real Life World collide with your host from the depths, JBJ Blaze. Hello and welcome back to Blazon Nation with your host, well, actually I guess my um, intro already stated my alias, JBJ Blaze. Um, this is episode 3 recorded on September the 12th, 2013, and I was planning on getting a rundown bumper, but I have had my mind, uh, my mind, I don't have more than one mind, set on different things. So I guess, here's the rundown, choo choo choo. Um, so, what's been going on is, well, for me, so far just school and having less time to work on Let's Plays and a whole bunch of duty daughters. Um, news with the uh, talk about the uh, U.S. military going to war in Syria. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's completely true or not, but I received this in an email about stuff that apparently Obama finally decided to back off on it. In which there weren't enough votes saying, yes, let's go to Syria and fight there. And possibly, as many people would expect, screw things up, maybe not. But they've had history of screwing things up. For example, Iraq killed many innocent lives when I believe the whole thing was to uh, do something with Mr. Saddam Hussein, who was already um, being a jerk to his own people. And so they come and, hey, let's be um, cruel to these people too. Maybe it'll give a message to Saddam Hussein, who knows. Um, and this thing I found this other day, um, this was on copyrighted.com, um, in which it's kind of like creativecommons.org, and, um, these are basically free copyright, but in the sort of fashion that, or at least Creative Commons, lets people, basically it gives them more access to use wor your work, a contact high. I have never heard of contact high, I might have heard of it, but Probably by now I'd have forgotten that definition and that, yeah, that's something from chat. But, um, and, um, basically, like I said, it gives users more access to works, well, other than what would be said in terms of use, like, for example, Minecraft, which, honestly, is my most favorite game. Um, haters, feel free to kill me, but I love it. There's no thing in my mind that's going to change my mind on that. But um, it's a trademark game, and in its terms of use, it says, well, they say that, like, in terms of videos, it can have advertisements on your videos. So, yeah, so that's one open access thing. But, um, Something that I noticed that's not so great about copyrighted.com is they have in their description of what they do is they protect your stuff from being stolen or whatever. Um, don't let anybody steal your work. And one thing, one huge problem I have there, 
and it's just a word and a whole bunch but it doesn't quite fit that definition well it's like people making all these comments way out of definition that's so gay or whatever or what the balls or using the F word for things that are far from what the F word actually means for an awful carnal knowledge um, it, it's funny people will I guess seem to use the word steal for anything as well even online stuff if you're using intellectual property that is stealing if you're not using their permission that is that is stealing if you are uploading content you are stealing but what doesn't make sense there is stealing if you look at the definition um, and I guess for extra legitimacy here stealing take another person's property without permission or legal right and without intending to return it now when you um, put that in with online stuff if you're supposedly stealing something of in other companies is that saying that you took their stuff and you're not returning it when usually what these cases are is they still have it and if you think of it on your computer when you're transferring files around there's copy and cut and then of course there's paste you cut a file and then hit paste it moves it so it's no longer in that original spot it's in this new spot you copy it then it's gonna stay in that original spot but it's gonna be brought over to this new spot and um, in this sort of way what's not being returned S something that d d just doesn't make sense here is really unless that person who is supposedly thievering or thieving I'm um, sorry about my bad grammar there but um, if someone is thieving your stuff in real life, someone robs a shop. Are they still going to have that thing? And then look at the online world. People call that same thing stealing. But the original owners, do they still have that content? They most likely do unless that person hacked that original database and maybe that organization does not have it there anymore boom or to put it simply for too long didn't read sort of terms it's inaccurate in real life you can't well you can copy stuff so in a school or college or university or even in a workplace if someone's got a note down and then you're writing stuff on another piece of paper someone says oh you're stealing their information or whatever how is that stealing do they still have it it may be you threw their paper in the recycling box, shredded it. Um, wrote all over it, etc. 
in those cases. Uh, but unless they somehow put the pieces together, or, well, in terms of writing over it, I guess it would have to be pencil, or um, something like friction point pen, which is special ink that's erasable by pressure. And, um, sorry for that little pause there. But I got to think about this stuff. Would you download a car? Hmm. Oh, we have another guy in chat. Hello, Tack Attack. Welcome to Blues on Nation. Sorry, I've not paid too much attention to chat here. One word to... Piracy is typically an act of... And where did you find that? Let's see. Where did you find that attack attack? Now that you bring that up. Oh. Yes, I, I'm to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you mean the literal definition. Feel free to come to my house and copy paste my car. That is a domain. Copy paste my car. I I'd love to copy paste your car. See if I get in trouble for burglaring that. If I'm even using the right terminology. But, um. Basically, how can you say that people stole your work and. For tack attacks info, this is about internet piracy. Because in real life piracy, yes, you are stealing stuff, usually. But when it comes to internet piracy, unless that person is hacking you and transferring all that info, well, it doesn't even have to be all that info but just any info and put it in their database and it's no longer in yours it's not stealing but what was another example I could come up with here uh, I'm thinking about something to do with um, certain stuff like shooting a person and somehow it's not something's fault but that that's way off topic of this but um be before I carry on or at least while I find something else um I said this before the show and sorry if you heard a little odd sound um I accidentally stepped on my cord, took part of my headset off of my head, but, um, actually, I'll get to the shout-outs later, but, um, and I guess with piracy, there's also been a lot of stuff going on, too, with that, with the well, I'm not sure how lately it is with the Pirate Bay or whatever, which is the popular torrent site where you can, uh, well, get torrents and then download the stuff, or unless you don't want to download it and just seed for people, then there's that. They've received numerous lawsuits, I believe. That, that again, I'm sure any other site. Pl plus, um, Mega Upload, they did too. And I, I guess that's the topic I'll bring up here. Oh, hello, Thangalang! I was wondering when you'd show up. He He's again from Trading Revolution, which is a group we are both staff in. But anyhow, now that I finally found another topic 
Oh, canned fish. Hello. Oh, and it's the firefish. Holy crap. Dare I say it, this must be the most populated day I've had in the chat room. Okay, so... With this next topic... Um... Oh, yes, it is blaming the site hosts for what the users upload. Which is what Mega Upload faced. In which Kim.com, who was the whole mastermind behind Mega Upload and now Mega, which he can get, well, find at Mega.co.nz or for American Zen Z. Um, in which his Mega Upload site was notorious and even under my school board's blocking system, marked as illegal, which I mark as total BS, because it's not illegal. But anyhow, what happened here was, well, it, Mega Upload was notorious for having all these illegally uploaded files. And in this case, yes, he can say illegally uploaded. It's not illegal ever to download. Uh, I've received a uh, notice a bit ago, maybe a year ago, I forget how long it was, but um, Blaze69 had a torrent for Grand Theft Auto 3, and I got a torrent for it. And never, while I was downloading it, did I receive a copyright infringement. Well, actually, it went to my parents' email. But, um, in which, well, this came once it went into seeding, which is another word for uploading. And, um, yeah. But anyhow, gotta keep on topic here. And I'm not sure how long this podcast has been going on for. Do, do any of you guys know the time that this has been going on for now? Because I'm not too sure. Mega Upload and Mega Video were my favorite sites. The FBI should have gone after the users who uploaded files, but they said bleep it, we can't track down everyone, so let's arrest the owner. Yeah, pretty much that. That, that That's actually the whole thing with the internet. Or, or even, um, in, um, Trading Revolution chat, we once had a giveaway, and one of the trivia questions I had come up with was, um, Sorry, I just hit my mic. Um, what was it called now? Oh yes, it was about Put Put, in which they had filed a copyright infringement notice to Mojang, aka the brilliant people behind Minecraft, and now Scrolls and Cobalt. And, um, this was over videos on YouTube which were Minecraft gameplay videos and the problem with these was the title included Put Put which is pretty much the same thing as the company's name Put Put and I guess for some reason they didn't quite like that and I'm not sure if I can well, I'll put that link in the show notes once I get to it. <laughs> yes, they are dumb, Aiden, man. And, um, Notch's own comments on that were Put Put being silly. And that is silly. They're blaming Mojang for something they had not a single crap to do with it. Not a single poop block to do with it. And that that's an idea from the shaft. Go listen to them. They're a great podcast. 
And j just a tiny but before my shout out section here. Um uh, th that that's one of their ideas. And th thanks for letting me steal your idea, people. Well, not steal it, but copy. But anyhow, what um the the thing is here Mojang has money. And if you didn't hear that well enough, money. Because I was a little too short on the E part. But, um, that's the difference between these YouTube users and Mojang. Mojang has the money. And so they go, for, so it's not only just the owner, but it's also the person with the most freaking money. And Notch and Mojang have probably in the billions or millions, millions at the least. And, um... I got some blur in my glasses, but, um, <laughs> I'm running out of thoughts here, and now I'm concentrating on running out of thoughts, but, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that's the old problem there, though, is all these YouTube users, then again, sure, some of them do get money, but that's more so usually the popular ones, and, um, and that that's the same thing with Mega Upload. Sure, the owner, Kim.com, and the rest of the Mega Upload team could have re removed all these files, and th that's the policies on a bunch of these cloud service sites, too, is, well, other than torrent sites like the Pirate Bay or Kick A Word Torrents, um, is that they'll, is that they have in their terms of use or service new copyrighted content where we will take it down and that that's the step that they took with Mega is having it where if there's something found out about that a user uploaded copyrighted content it'll be taken down so that they don't end up having Mega go where Mega Upload and Mega Video did, which is FBI full of crap hell. Then again, that's where a lot of things have been going, is FBI full of crap hell. But that's what I'll call it from now on. But, um, d does anyone know the time? Uh, I th think, hold on. Anyone know the time? Because so far I've run out of things to talk about. Nightbot, what do you think? Yeah, bloody heck, you're just a bot. But, um, anyhow, I guess I will close this up. Um... I don't have a bumper for it either, but let's get to shout out, shall we? So, f oh, there was a video. Crap, I just hit my mic again. There was a video promo for tons of music videos around Christmas of last year for Mega Video, which was cool, but then it just got seized. Last year. Well, last year, last year, last year. Huh. I'll have to look at that later thing. But, um... Anyhow, back to the shoutouts. So, to Llama in the... Oh, 2011. Yeah, actually, yeah, it was 2011. Because I think it was... I think it was 20. Actually, I'm not sure whether it was 2012 or 2013 that Mega launched. I'm pretty sure it was this year, though. 2012 seems too f far away. And, oh. I guess Llama's out of the chat room. But, um, 
Anyhow, for when I get to speak to Lama again, a big shout out to him. He is working on this live streaming software called FF Split. You can find that at ffsplit.com. And you can find their support stuff at I at their IRC support link. Um, in their next update, they have a feature where you can add in media files, which I can't wait to try out. And um, I guess it's shout out to all you guys in the chat room. Uh, it was awesome having over, well, about maybe six people or seven people or so in the chat room, which I've never had before. And um, it, it would really help if maybe you could spread the word around or whatever. Um, and... Any more shout outs? Maybe one to Obama for backing off on the. on attacking Syria. Oh, yes. Another one to Ortail42, who is the developer of Cookie Clucker, which you can find at Ortail, that is O R T E I L dot dash net dot org slash cookie clicker and it's just a bloody addicting game so far there's really no point to it except for getting a bunch of upgrades but hopefully our achievements or whatnot make it a lot more exciting and um do keep the work up on cookie clicker and I guess that shall be all. What what do you guys think? Sh should I stop the podcast there? Oh, and as for my let's plays, um, I am thinking this Saturday do maybe two or three. For my Minecraft and Pokemon 3D Let's Plays, which you can find all my stuff on that on youtube.com slash jbjblaze. Um, you can tune in for next episodes here at twitch.tv slash jbjblaze. Um, and SoundCloud. Oh yes, the previous episode I plan on releasing very soon, well maybe even, well not tonight but probably tomorrow, which I'll also release episode 3 here, and what's the other thing, oh buzzers, oh, and yeah, I guess we've already. Well, I've already lost one person in here who happens to be attack attack. And um, yeah. So I will see y'all next Thursday, and I hope to get those episodes released. Stay in school. Do good. Don't pick on the teachers unless they pick on you or unless you face a Jeff Bliss incident. Kudos to you, by the way, Jeff. And, um... Yeah, so unless you get into a Jeff Bliss thing, be nice to your teachers. Unless your teachers come up with a full of crap statement, then maybe tackle that, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so I will see you all next... Oh, that's the thing I forgot about. The guy who was in with me last week, unfortunately, he wasn't able to be in tonight. Review Hunter, I miss you. 
but um, I guess I can still chat with you, and hopefully something can be worked out sometime again, because it was awesome having you on last week. And this is the end of episode three. Thank you all for listening, and I'll be sure to have more for episode four next Thursday. Somewhere's around 8 or 9, I don't know. Or even 9.30, I don't know. And... What do you mean you want more? Or did you miss something? Hey, if so, go to blazonation.tk for more articles and show notes. The flippin' awesome.engine.com slash BNP for show notes and to sponsor a future episode. Oh, and before I close, um, uh, just a side note, um, uh, sponsoring will come soon, depends on how things go. And, yeah, so the sponsor thing isn't up yet. But anyhow, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.